Fiat 500 rear drum brakes. I trust everyone knows how to get to this bit, knows how to take the, dr the, uh, the drum off. And then people say that you need to take off this hub. Well, that's stupid, taking off the hub to get to uh, changing the, uh, um, the brake shoes. What folks don't do is release the cable from the um, handbrake. So the rear handbrake, if you release the cable, right, that allows that handbrake cable to move uh, very freely on the other side at the uh, at the brake side. It allows the um, the brake shoes to move, and then you can disconnect the um, handbrake cable. Right. Push out behind the pin, push the pliers in, and that's it. That's what I'm done. Get your pliers on this clip. Push the. Um, there we go. That's off. Take these pins out. Look how rusty these pins are. These have never been changed. You hear a spring puller and pull on the bottom spring. There we go, the spring's come off. By releasing the handbrake cable, you can see behind here now. That is really loose, look, I can move that. Loads, look at that. Piece of cake, watch. So, disconnect the cable. Cables off. Right. Normally, this uh, you'll not be able to do that because that's so tight in there. You'll not be able to uh, pull that shoe apart. So, to get to get this off, norm this spring is so tight you can't really uh, pull it off. So, with it, you know the uh, with the assembly is so loose now. All you need to do is pull it off. All right. Get camera on the other side so you can see. All you need to do is pivot it round, pivot it round, like so, okay, and then the whole thing just comes off. You've got your automatic uh, screw adjuster here, give that a clean, grease up your uh, pivot points there, uh, jobs, jobs are good and no need to remove this hub. Whoever said this hub is stupid. So I use a wire brush to uh, clean up these wire brush to clean up this hub. Get some grease on these uh, pivot points here. So we're going to put this on last. We'll put the, um, uh, the handbrake cable on last. So we'll grease up the areas where the uh, adjuster is going to contact. The other side to grease. Don't use copper grease, use proper brake grease. Copper grease is like crap shit. You don't want to use that. I don't know why anybody uses that anymore. There's another pivot point down here. Down here. So we can put up some of that into this face in here. So here, that's where uh, that bottom bit sits. Him on the other side. allows it to run smooth. Now we're going to uh, refit the shoes. We're going to put the spring in so the spring goes in with the bar at the bottom, not at the top. So when you fit that in, that bar is running along the bottom, not that way, where it runs along the top. You can get your shoes on the other side, like that. Okay, now we're going to half fit the, uh, half fit the self adjuster like that. Okay, that'll spring back in. Like that. So we've got it like that. Okay, what you're gonna do is we're gonna slide that adjuster through. As you can see, slide the adjuster through. Okay, and on this end you're gonna pivot that um, pivot that on that side. The uh, top of the brake shoes on that side. And all you do on here 
this because it's really tight this spring right is you need to kind of get around this side bend it round and pivot it on that piston yeah once it's pivoted on yeah, get the self adjuster align it onto the shoe like that give it a bit of a wiggle here a bit of a pull there there we go get the piston in there like that that's it that is the top half of it done that's the most trickiest bit right now we just got to put this back on hammer it came back in you just lift it on the side pull the spring back you can pull that cable through yeah hook it round there you go that's back in yeah to make sure then that's secure right we go back into the car and we reattach it right reattach it to make life a little bit easier wind that out a bit so just pivot it around put that in there that's it give that a little bit more tightening it back up yeah so that's pulled that handbrake cable tight from the inside so just double check it's still attached there you didn't have to take the whole lot off, off at all right now all you need to do is put the uh, pins back in so you've got some new pins so now we need to fit these on In. There we go. That's in. That's one side in. Okay. Now this clip back in. There you go. Twist it down that way. Job's done. Yeah. Job's done. Don't need to take the hub out, off at all. Now we just need to fit the bottom spring on. So this can be a little bit tricky. Okay. There we go. It's gone in a bit. Then just ease it in. in shoes in that's all all right there look you know we'll wait to adjust it get into the right place yeah that's it don't have to take the hub off at all